Okie dokie. It's Richie. Welcome to another episode of Wild at Home. Today on the show, we're going to do a very simple, easy recipe, butter salmon. It's my favorite way to do salmon, mainly because it's super simple. And the reason I love this is it's not so much a recipe as it is a technique. That technique is just salting your proteins before you eat them. Um, it's going to enhance all the flavor, and it's going to bring out the nuances of whatever species of salmon you're eating. So um, we're having coho today. Coho, you know, kind of in the middle of the pack in terms of fattiness and, and leanness right there in the middle. All this is going to need um, is salt and butter, a fish spatula or a regular spatula, but fish spatulas are the most versatile. I use them for all my cooking, um, and then a needle nose pliers. First thing you do is salt. So you're going to use a coarse salt coarse grain salt, and I don't have a measurement for it. How much do you usually put on ever? Um, two cups. Two cups of salt. Um, you might want to reduce that by about two cups, um, but I would say coarse salt for sure, and then just sprinkle liberally over your salmon, right? Do you want to help me? Sure. So don't use table salt. Use a nice kosher salt, something with big crystals. The only technique I can pass on to you is salt less around the thin pieces and a little, a little more around the thicker pieces. Just wash your hands so you don't wash your hands. Wash your hands, everybody. 20 seconds, ABCs. Ever, what's your favorite song to sing? I like to do um, The Lion King. I just can't wait to be king. That's about 20 seconds, one segment of it. What were we doing? Yeah, and also the things that you're going to need. The things that you. Oh, okay. This is a this is a loin slash collar piece. The head of this fish would be right about here, um, and so it does have a good amount of pin bones. Pin bones are just it's a calcified nerve ending, so gosh, you can leave them in if you want to. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, I do like to take them out; it's just easier to eat. Um, you take bigger bites, essentially. We're going to separate belly from loin here, thick from thin. Gives us some more control over cooking. The salt's starting to dissolve into the meat, and what that's doing is disrupting the protein molecule. And it, what it wants to do is denature and, and basically unravel when it gets heated. What we're doing is trying to disrupt that so that there isn't a coagulation and it's not squeezing that water out. It keeps your fish much moister. It gives you a greater margin of error for overcooking. Five minutes, one day, two hours, whatever you can do. Always salt. All right, our salmon is cut. We've separated thin from thick. Now we bring it over to the pan, and we're gonna um, we're gonna get into the the basting, the, the beauty of this, the the sexy part of pan frying fish is is the butter baste. Now is probably a good time to cut to my favorite part of the show, which is ask a salmon steward. Salt and pepper, a little olive oil, and low and slow in the oven. Let that fat work for you. Did we do it? We're gonna do like a medium heat. Um, medium. Medium high. Medium. Uh, we're gonna leave our skin on too, a little bit about that. Skin on, don't take your skin off. We're gonna, we're gonna fry. Well, I'll tell you about it later. All right. Two tablespoons of butter. There's a few milk solids left on this. I'm gonna get those off so they don't burn. That's a little, a little trick. Your pan's nice and hot. That's perfect. You can throw both of these on at the same time. You're gonna press down a little bit. So immediately, you're gonna start basting it, man. And this is where it gets fun. This is my favorite part. You got a lot of salt that's soaked in. Some of that's gonna come back off into the butter. 90% of your time is gonna be skin side down. 10%, quick flip it, sear, the, sear the, uh, the flesh side if you want. Medium, medium high. I got my oven on about seven. 
probably open a window at some point. It's going to start smelling like fish. If you like that, keep your windows closed. What we do at Sika Salmon Shares is create the most perfect fillet of fish, and we put a lot into it. And to cover it up and mask it with a lot of marinades, um, it's kind of foolish sometimes. Certainly, I'm, I'm for flavor. Like, get some flavor in there, but en it, enjoy what the, the natural world has to offer, too. Salt butter fish, man. Let that fat work for you. So the, the age-old tip is don't flip it until you think it's ready. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because its skin's not released yet from the pan, and you're going to get skin stuck to your pan, and people are going to be mad because you ruined it. You see some nice bits, some nice brown bits happening there. Here's my trick, guys. Let it cool skin side up. That's going to stay nice and crispy. You see though the butter is, is just nice and nutty and golden brown. If I had left those milk solids in there, it would be burning by now. There'd be a lot of smoke. So pull those milk solids out. Oh. So here is the trick, right? You push and if it starts to separate a little, you're ready. You can keep this fish raw. Everything is sashimi grade. But I like my salmon when I fry it to be about medium rare. Medium, medium rare. There is a slight carryover of cooking time. It's not a ton, like not like with a chicken or a piece of pork, but there's a little carryover. So you're gonna wanna take your fish off before it's done. You get about a minute, minute and a half of carryover cook time. All right, that's perfect. Let's bring this over. Again, skin side up. You hear that, that crack? That was a smokeless, Hand fry. <laughs> it never happens. The alarm's always going off. You know why? Because I took my milk solids out of my pan. Hold on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. What do you think? So good? I think this was John. John and Nora. I don't know, John, do you talk a lot? Who's, who, which one talks a lot? The one in the conference room. Nick? <laughs> do you hear that, Nick? Sorry, I did not tell her that. <laughs> Let me review this for you. Incredible quality fish. Sika Salmon Shares does that. Butter, salt, a little bit of thyme, a hot pan, and a little finesse. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, click that subscribe button somewhere below the screen. Share it with your friends. Um, thanks to those who are members with us. What you guys do supports what we do. It's a mutualistic relationship. We love that in nature. Thank you to our fishermen. And, um, and that's it, you guys. We'll see you next time. I don't know what's on the menu next time, but uh, tune in. We'll figure it out together. Take care. Stay wild. Uh -huh.